Welcome back. We are going to study decorators with Lab 300. Now, decorators, it's a technique. It is not any new syntax, we'll see. Since there's been context handling, that's where we use the with keyword, and then we name a context handling class, which we will learn to make two. Since that has existed, I really don't know why you would want to make a decorator. It's much simpler to do the context handler class. However, there are lots of decorators. There are libraries of them, and there are decorations that are part of the language itself. So if you would like to learn about decorators, here's the place. We'll be looking at our time decorator in decorator.py. I think it's nice to first look at the output, a favorite output of mine, because when it runs, it's going to give the time and say it's time to do breakfast. And here is a call to do breakfast. Then we're going to have a time to do lunch. Here is a call to do lunch. And then a second later, it's time to do tea and tea time. So what we are doing is decorating the calls to do breakfast, do lunch, do tea, and do dinner with the same decorator function, which prints out the time before it allows the call. Let's go up here. Here is our time decorator. When the interpreter comes through and reads this module, it sets up this time decorator function. It puts that identifier on it, time decorator. Notice here that it takes in as an argument a function identifier. That's what that func means. Some function identifier should come in. We'll look at this, but first let's look at do breakfast. This is very similar to what we've done for breakfast before. It just prints out some food. Here is our decoration step. I'm going to call time decorator of do breakfast. So this func is on this do breakfast function object. But in here, it has the identifier func. Whatever is returned by the time decorator, and we'll look at that very carefully, wrap function, that's another function identifier that gets returned and so whatever that is will now be do breakfast so when do breakfast is called from now on which doesn't happen till way down here in maine it will not really call do breakfast it will call whatever was passed back okay although no new syntax is needed for this scheme you can use syntax. Since uh, 2 5, we can put the at sign here. And then I say time decorator, and then it's just as if I had put down here do lunch equals time decorator of do lunch. There were complaints that it doesn't make sense to do your decoration at the bottom of your Christmas tree. You should do it on top for the word decoration. Okay. So that's why the at sign was invented. This one, though, we're doing it the old-fashioned way so you can see what really happens. Okay, when we call time decorator of do breakfast, then this function identifier is on this do breakfast function object. The interpreter is now running this function, time decorator. It sees a def. So now it makes a wrap function. It is going to make this function object wrap function. Wrap function then, it takes in any arguments and any keyworded arguments. And it prints that time that we saw. Now notice that we're asking for funk, that's our do breakfast. It has a magic name. That will be the string do breakfast. So that's how we reported that. It makes this particular function object with funk 
identifier populated with the do breakfast. So then I can call do breakfast with funk. And I am passing on the arguments. So what gets returned from wrapped function when it gets called, and remember that it will not be called until do breakfast is called. Right now, we just have the call to time decorator, which returns this function. But the version of this function object knows which function we're talking about. OK, so here we are. We're doing the same thing with do lunch is now decorated. So from now on, when I do do lunch, I will get that decoration before it happens. Same with tea and dinner. And that's how we do it. That is a decorator. You will please notice that each of these meals have a different argument list. Do dinner expects just a string to come in. That's why we can use menu.title and that'll be for dinner. Nothing goes into do tea and Keyworded arguments go into do lunch. And then we update our defaulted menu with those keyworded arguments. And I'm doing this form of string formatting because it is so smart around dictionaries. So I'm taking advantage of that, doing the percent %s with parens and the keyword in between them. That is still available in the language. Now, here in breakfast, these are local identifiers. So I can use the regular F, which is almost always my favorite. And it didn't matter whatever arguments came in to my subsequent call to do lunch or do tea, which really called wrap function. And the version of wrap function that knows about that function, do lunch. Doesn't matter what came in, it's what got pushed out on the call again. Okay, you have a little practice, and I'll see you on the other side.